You ever heard that joke? They circled the problem. Whoop. <laughs> I don't know. I've, there's some Fords that I've had that I really, really liked. Even Ford Rangers that I really liked and some that I really didn't like. Today, we're going to talk about this abomination that's made in France. <laughs> I really hate this. This is called a concentric uh, slave cylinder or a piece of shit in other languages <laughs> or other terminology. And basically, we got some air in the line and we need to get the air out. And so we're going to show you how to do that without pulling this off. Unfortunately, the line for this goes down between the body and the frame. And the body mounts on this uh, beautiful machine are just totally rusted solid. We can't get the body off unless we torch it off. And we don't want to do that. So you can see the line that goes off the back side of this master cylinder. It traps air right here, and then it also traps air as it goes over the frame. I'm going to show you what that is. Excuse me. Wow. This is not going to be my best video, but I'm kind of in a bad mood, to be honest with you. More than blown through my quota of swear words for the day. But see where it goes up over the frame? There's that little uh, pinch weld that comes down and blocks in front of it. So we can't get the line out to bleed it properly on the bench the way that we're supposed to. Um, you can see a little better the way it's trapped right there. That black line. And it's hard plastic. It's not even metal. Uh, but we can't get it out of there because this is rusted solid and won't come undone. And then like I say, without lifting this up, and we can't bend that without cracking the line or breaking the line in some fashion or cut it. So we're kind of stuck. I'll show you, oh, I don't want to edit this or it'll never get online, I'm just not in the mood. Um, but this is what we're wanting to do. This is the master cylinder and it's tipped upside down. And you have the line with a little button that catches so you don't get any air. But as it says here, the air gets trapped right there as it goes over the frame and it also gets trapped in the top of the master cylinder. So we bled it and bled it and bled it and bled it. It wouldn't bleed. At the top of the instructions it says that uh, it makes it bleeding very difficult or impossible. <laughs> That's about the way it is. So what we had to do is we had to pull the master cylinder for the clutch system out of the firewall and turn it upside down as you see there. And so we're going to show you what that looks like. So you got to work on this until it will only move 3 16ths of an inch. You can see it barely moves. And so in order to get that to work you can turn it because there's an o-ring in this line right here so you turn this upside down and then have an assistant spanky say hello hello uh, from underneath and then i'm holding the reservoir over here and i watch until all the air bubbles are gone out of it so she's working with a long screwdriver from clear underneath the vehicle and I'm having a heck of a time wrestling this back to where it was. But it was like this, straight down. And that way all the air can come up, up this line. That way you don't have to get it out of this abomination of a design. I'm sure somebody got a new summer home and it saved Ford a lot of money to do this ridiculous, name-destroying, idiotic... Uh, concentric slave cylinder but uh, anyway this is how you find it initially getting the rod to come out of that's not easy either I had to use my vice grips that are in a, a slide hammer to get that out I'll show you that I've done a bunch of videos on this before but basically I just welded a nut that was on a ball joint you know, it's the same thread pitch as my slide hammer, so then you just go BAM! And with that locked into the push rod, you can get it out. So anyway, that's how you get this thing to bleed. And how easy, how easy was it to push on that thing to get it to bleed? It was kind of hard. It was pretty tough. So anyway, that's how you get it to go. And you have to push on that with the screwdriver from underneath, like I say, or you will not get the bubbles out. And when you push it down, you want to push it down, uh, wait for the bubbles to clear, and then let off. 
But anyway, that's how you do it. Hope this is helpful to you. And uh, I'm sorry you have to be working on one of these. I really am. You have my sympathy. All right, so we've followed all the instructions and we've done everything that you're supposed to do to get the air out of it and it still wasn't getting air out. And so I just started banging on it and all these air bubbles came out. And so I turned the handle around, I banged on it some more and more air bubbles come out. So basically I found the best technique and you've noticed that we pulled the whole thing out. I undid it and just threaded it out over the frame by pushing this through. I even tried to oxyacetylene torch on the bolt to get the body to go up. No dice. I hate this car. <laughs> we all have our nemesis cars, but it's just really tight now. You have to get it until it will only move about, you know, they say no more than three sixteenths of an inch. I've got this to where it's not moving more than a sixteenth of an inch. And after you bleed that, after you stick this in, make sure that you pull down on the line a little bit. I don't know. Just try to get the air to not go here. <laughs> you can see how it's got a little bit of an up uh, that you can see here. Make sure that you have it this way so if there is any air, it doesn't go up this way because that's no man's land right here. That's where the air gets trapped. There and in here. So, and I'm just using a screwdriver and just pushing it in there and that's pretty tight now. No more bubbles. No more bubbles. But what a ridiculous, I mean if it's that hard to get the air to move through the lines that you have to bang on it and bang on it and go back and forth, this is just asinine. That's just ridiculous. So, and I've been through this rodeo, I don't know how many of these I've done, but this one is the hardest. This is by far the most annoying. We replaced the master cylinder too just because we were just having such poor results with the other one, but even still we couldn't even get it to bleed out. And I don't think more air was getting in the other one. This one took as long as the other one did. But it's good if we're going to do this to put that in there. What a piece of junk this truck is. <laughs> click like, click subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks.